It's important that we recognize we have to have a willing heart. That is my desire to have a willing heart. I want to be more willing to hear what God wants to speak to me today than I was yesterday. Welcome back to the Live Lovely Podcast, a podcast designed to help you live, love, and lead well. I'm your host, April Nicole Scipio, and I am so excited that you are choosing to spend time with me today on the podcast. I recognize that you don't have to listen in, but you do, and I thank you so much for that. If you haven't already connected inside of our Facebook group, the Live Lovely Community, I want to invite you to do that. We are a group of women. We are building authentic friendships centered around God's word. I would love for you to be a part of that. We are really continuing a conversation that we started a few weeks ago all about the truth that God speaks. If you missed any of the previous episodes in the series, go back and listen because this really is more than a series. This is a conversation that we are having And I know that the Lord is speaking to hearts. In fact, it is my prayer. So just know as a listener of this podcast, you are being prayed over. I believe that you are not limited by the words that I speak, but God can speak to your heart through what I'm speaking and it will be the exact thing that you need to hear. This is so important, especially in this conversation about the fact that God speaks. We are being super intentional about leaning in and listening. And so expect that. Expect God to speak to your heart as we are in this conversation. I want to start off today's episode with a scripture in Proverbs because it's important that we recognize we have to have a willing heart. That is my desire to have a willing heart. I want to be more willing to hear what God wants to speak to me today than I was yesterday. Proverbs 27, 19, I'm going to read it in the ESV. It says, as in water, face reflects face. So the heart of man reflects the man. I recognize that my heart says a lot. My heart speaks to who I am. And at the very core of me, I desire to be a follower of Jesus. I desire to be led by the Lord. So if I'm going to be led by the Lord, I have to be able to hear what he wants to speak to me. I have to be willing to hear because I am willing to follow. Proverbs 3, 5 in the New Living, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Again, I have to be willing to not understand everything as I'm following Jesus. In fact, the life of faith is the life we signed up for. If we're going to understand everything, then we really don't need faith and we wouldn't need to trust. And so my heart is willing. I am willing to hear even if what I hear I'm not going to understand. I am willing to hear because I recognize that I truly desire to follow Jesus. Now, in my desire to follow Jesus and in my willingness to hear, I have to make the quality decision that I'm going to develop an intimate relationship with the Father. Last episode in our conversation, I read Jeremiah 29, 11. I need to read that again because the more intimate we are with the Father, I believe the clearer His plans and purposes for our lives become, right? So Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. I really believe this verse. I believe that God has plans for me. And the closer I get to him, man, I'm going to be able to discern and hear what those plans are. I know they are good and I want this in my life. I want to experience all that he has for me. 
Psalms 119 verse 10, it says, I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commands. I do not want to wander from God's commands. That's why I am staying close to him. I want to encourage you today to stay close to the Father. This is how we're going to apply this in our life today. Because when we stay close to the Father, there is less of a chance of us wandering. I don't want to wander off by myself. I know I can't make it on my own. I need the I need the Father. I need the Lord to lead me and to guide me. And I want that for you today as you think about just your life and the plans that God has for you. Think about how you need the Father. I want you to get close today to Him, to lean in even more today than ever before. Make sure you have that willing heart. Sometimes I wonder if we are not hearing all what we're supposed to hear because of the condition of our hearts. And so I actually want to just pray for our hearts today as we pause this conversation because we recognize, man, from our heart flows every issue of life. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this conversation that we're continuing. And thank you today, Lord, that we can pause and just evaluate our hearts. Lord, we want to be willing to hear and we're asking for divine help to expose places of our hearts that are not willing. And so, God, we just commit this to you. We surrender our lives to you. We say thank you. Thank you for being so faithful to speak to us. And we are leaning in today, Father. We want our relationship to be more intimate with you every single day. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, I just, I can't wait till next week. You guys, this conversation is going to keep going. I believe God is speaking to hearts. I know he's speaking to my heart. Do me a favor, share this episode out on your socials and tag me at April Nicole Sip or at Live Lovely Media. Thank you for helping me spread this message of hope and encouragement. I'll see you next time. Until then, go live, love, and lead well. Have a great day.